to factorize quadratic uh, equations or quadratic expressions is one of the basic skills that you need to learn in algebra. So I've made up some questions, uh, quadratic uh, expressions, and uh, I want to go over not all the questions. I'll do some questions and the rest would be your work to do. Okay, so let's start with the first question. The first question is uh, x squared minus x minus 6. Now when you want to factorize, what they're asking you to do is to put them in two brackets. So, so here you start with two brackets like this, quadratic, this x squared uh, means you have to have x on this bracket and x in this bracket, or x times x is x squared. Now is the main step. You want to find two factors, so you want to find two factors of negative 6. Two factors of minus 6, which adds to give you minus 1, which adds to give minus 1. Now you may ask, where is that minus 1? Now I'm talking about this minus 6, this is the minus 6. And this is an invisible 1 here. A 1 is sitting here. This is negative 1. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the negative 6 and this is negative 1. So it's a good exercise, those who are struggling with factorization, is to write the factors of 6. So let me write the factors of 6 or negative 6. Factors of negative 6. Okay, so let's start with 1 and negative 6. 1 and negative 6 are the factors of negative 6. Now, if you add 1 plus negative 6, you get negative 5. So this is not going to work, so we'll cross that out. Okay, what happens if it is uh, minus 1 and 6? Minus 1 and 6. Uh, would give you negative 6, but if you add minus 1 plus 6, that's going to give you plus 5. So this is also crossed out, so this is guess and check method. So now let us go to 2. So 2 and uh, 2 times, let me do this in a different way, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Okay, 2 times negative 3 is so 2 and negative 3 are the factors of negative 6. But if you add 2 plus negative 3, it's same as 2 take away 3, which is negative 1. So both the, fact, both the conditions are satisfied. Now, this is what is important. So it's always good to write this and check whether both the conditions are satisfied. That means if you multiply 2 and negative 3, you get negative 6. And if you add 2 and negative 3, you get negative 1. So the factors are x minus 3 and x plus 2, just like that. And this is your answer. So x minus 3, x plus 2. It's always good to check uh, those who end up, because if the signs are different, if the signs are not in the correct order, the answer will be wrong. So to check, it's always good to expand this. So let us expand x minus 3 times x plus 2. Okay, so this is, uh, there are different ways of expanding. So this is, I call this the foiling out. So x times x is x squared. And x times plus 2 is plus 2x. Okay, so these are the loopy arrows. So this is negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times plus 2 is negative 6. So this is same as x squared. You can simplify this 2, which is minus x, minus 6. So the answer is correct. Okay, so you can be happy that the factors are right. Okay, so we have done question. Oops, I want to do, I will let, this is done. Uh, I want you to do, uh, B, C, D yourself, okay? Okay, so let me do now E. Okay, so X squared, sorry, A squared minus 4A minus 21. 
So a squared, so this is question E, a squared uh, minus 4a minus 21. Okay, minus 4a minus 21. So here we are looking for the factors of negative 21. Factors of minus 21, which gives you, if you add, it should give you negative 4. So this is in a, uh, a way of expressing. So the factors of negative 21, which gives you, so let's first think about 21. So 21, so let's, uh, 1 and 21 is not going to give you negative 4. So let's not worry about 1 and 21. So let's say 3 and 3 times negative 4. 3 times, oh, 3 times negative, it's not negative 4, 3 times negative 7. 3 times negative 7 gives you negative 21. And what about 3 plus negative 7? 3 plus negative 7 is negative 4. Okay, so the factors are A, so start with A in both the brackets, and you want to get negative 21 and also negative 4. So how do I do? I'll do this in a different way. So this is X minus 7 times X plus 4. Not always a good check is to do an error like this. So what is this? It's minus 7 times A is minus 7A. Okay? And A times 4. A times 4 is uh, 4A or plus 4A. And can you see minus 7A plus 4A? Ah, what did I do? Okay, so this is a good practice. So this should be 3. I did. I don't know why I wrote 4 there. It should be 3, yeah. Okay, so it's always good to check. So this is 3a. So minus 7a plus 3a gives you minus 4a. Now, if you look at this too, let me do a different. If you multiply this too, can you see you're getting a squared? a times a gives you a squared and minus 7 times plus 3 is minus 21. So this is a different way of checking. Okay, so this two, if you multiply these two numbers, you get minus 21 and minus 7a plus 3a is minus, let me write here completed, this is minus 4a. So the answer is right. Okay, so I want you to do, uh, you can do F, G, and H yourself. So let's look at I now. 3x squared minus 3x minus 20. So it's slightly different. So that's question, question I. Okay, question I is 3x squared minus 3x minus 60. Okay. This is slightly different, looks different, but one thing that you should be able to see is the common factors. I'm going to write the next step like this. This is 3 times x squared minus 3 times x minus 3 times 20. So I'm going to take the 3 common. I'm going, can you see a 3 is common here? Okay, so I'm going to take the factor the 3 out. So if you factor the 3 out, it is x squared from here. Then you've got a minus here. You have to put a minus x, minus x, and minus 20. So now it has become a simple quadratic expression. So again, the same process. So x and x in the two bracket. So the two numbers which the factors of minus 20, so I'll do this, this in a different way. The two factors of minus 20, which gives you minus 1, which is minus 5 and plus 4. So if you multiply this two, so this is what I mean. So minus 5 times plus 4 is minus 20. And minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1.
and you got a minus 1 sitting here which is invisible. So it is x minus 5 times x plus 4. Okay, so what's the next question? So this is done. You can do these question J also. So let us look at this question which is slightly different. x squared minus 25. Okay, so this is x squared minus 25. So this is you can do this using a formula called a squared minus b squared. This is a good formula to remember. If a squared minus b squared, then this factors to a plus b times a minus b. Okay, so let me explain this. Okay, so this is, let us expand, let us expand a plus b times a minus b to understand backwards. So here if you expand this using FOIL, so a times a is a squared, then a times negative b is negative a b. Now b times neg b times a is plus a b or b a, you can write b a and b times negative b is negative b squared. So I hope you can see that these two are one and the same. The minus a b plus a b. So this and this gets cancelled. So what you're getting is a squared minus b squared. So this formula is called difference of two squares. Okay, in short that's called d or s. Some teachers or some books call this the formula of difference of two squares or difference of squares. So I'm going to write this as x the whole squared minus phi the whole squared. So you can compare your a with x and your b with phi. So if you know this formula, this is pretty easy, which is x plus phi times x minus phi. It doesn't matter in whichever, or you can also write the same thing as x minus phi times x plus phi. Both are one and the same because it's product, so it doesn't matter. You write this in any order. Okay, so I hope you can do these, this question yourself. This is again difference of two squares. This, of course, you think about this, how to do this. These two, you have to do one step. You can factor out something here and something here, and then it becomes difference of two squares. Okay, so let me do O now. The last question that I'm going to do is O minus x squared plus 12x minus 32. Okay, so let me write the question minus x squared plus 12x minus 32. Now, I don't like this minus sitting out. So this minus, if you can factor the minus out like this, so what happens is if you put the minus out, if you factor the minus out, the signs would change. So this x minus x squared will become plus x squared. Minus 12x will become minus 12x. And plus thir minus 32 will become plus 32. So you can keep the minus out. And the same thing, the two factors of 32, the two factors of 32, which adds to give you minus 12. So as it is plus, both the factors have to be either plus or minus. And I want a minus here, so I can put two minuses here. So minus 8 and minus 4. So what does this mean? So what this means is minus 8 times minus 4 is plus 32. Okay, negative and negative makes positive. And minus 8 plus minus 4 is minus 12. So the factors are x minus 8 times x minus 4. Just like that. Okay, now those who want to check the answers, I have, these are the answers for all the questions that we have done. So you can, those who want to do the remaining question, you can do these questions, the remaining question, and check your answer, yeah. All the best.